Sayen and Nathan are sister and brother. They were born in Santiago, the capital of the country of Chile in South America. Sayen and Nathan lived in a tall, tall building. From the windows, they could see the great snow-capped mountains of the Andes that surrounded the city. The city is big, and there are many streets filled with many tall and short buildings. There are also a lot of noises in the city. On the streets are many, many honking cars. The children's father is an Adventist pastor. Almost every Sabbath, he preached a sermon. Sometimes he preached at a big Pathfinder campout. One day, father received a very important telephone call. He was invited to go to another country to serve as a missionary. Of course, he wouldn't leave mother behind. Of course, he and mother wouldn't leave Sayen and Nathan behind. The whole family was invited to move to the country Uruguay to serve as missionaries. Everyone was very happy when they heard the news. What would it be like to live in a different city? Nathan wondered. What would it be like to live in a different country? Sayan wondered. Soon the children had to sell and get rid of all their things, even a lot of their clothes, books, and toys. We don't have room to take everything with us, father said. Let's take only what we really, really need, mother said. It was not easy, but father, mother, Sayan, and Nathan could only take one suitcase each, and they could only take what they could fit into their suitcases. Sayen and Nathan had to leave more than their clothes, books, and toys. They also had to leave their grandparents. They couldn't pack grandmother and grandfather in a suitcase. It would be a long time before they would see them again, father said. Sayen and Nathan flew on an airplane to their new home in Uruguay. What will it be like to live in a different city? Nathan wondered. What will it be like to live in a different country? Sayan wondered. They soon found out, unlike Chile, with its snowy mountains, everything in Uruguay was green. The family moved into a house near a large river. Nowadays, while father is working, Sayan and Nathan go out with mother to explore the river and the green parks near the river. Mother likes to draw pictures of nature, and Sayan and Nathan are her best helpers. Here it's different from Chile, says Sayan. It's very hot and it rains very hard, says Nathan. The children have learned to be brave and not to be afraid when a storm starts and the lightning flashes and the thunder roars. They know that God and his angels are taking care of them. In their new town, there is an Adventist school, a small blue school. Sayan and Nathan really enjoy going to school. They have made new friends at school, and they play and learn with them. Being a missionary is a fun adventure. Thank you so much for your Sabbath school mission offering that helps mission schools like Sayan and Nathan's teach many children about Jesus. Thank you so much for all the subscribers that have come back to watch this video. Thank you for all the new viewers. I very much appreciate you. If you don't mind, uh, drop a like on this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend subscribing so you can keep updated with all of the new videos. Also, thank you so much for my awesome animation team that has helped me on this animation. See you next time, guys.